So DJI has just announced not one but two brand new drones and I'm not sure if there is any better day to wear this shirt than today because I'm sure this phrase is something that many of us will be telling our girlfriends and wives tonight. So if you want to buy this t-shirt, it will be linked down below. Anyway, that being said, let's get on with the event. What's up everybody, this is Mike and by now you've probably seen 20, 30 new videos about these two new drones that DJI has just announced but anyway, this is my video, this is my way of sharing the information that I have and this is what I'm going to do in today's video so hopefully you guys enjoy watching. So like I said, two new drones have been announced by DJI just today the DJI Mavic Pro 2 and the DJI Mavic Zoom. So the main difference between those two new drones is the camera and we'll get to that in a second but let's just start with uh, all the features they share together because that is of course more interesting. So let's just start with the design. The design is definitely not something that we haven't seen before. <laughs> As a matter of fact uh, we got the leak the uh, photos a couple of days ago so we're pretty much very very familiar with the design but anyway it's definitely not groundbreaking it's very close to the one with that we have seen in the Mavic Pro the original one it's still foldable it's very very compact but again the gimbal is so so exposed I'm so annoyed by this gimbal it's not even funny uh, so make sure you get your DJI care because there will be plenty of crashes and there will be many many damaged uh, gimbals because the first thing that the drone is going to hit if you hit it from the front is that gimbal so there will be many broken gimbals unfortunately i'm not happy with that design i was very happy with the gimbal design of the mavic air but those two new drones still have this exposed gimbal so it is what it is we'll have to protect them a lot more now the transmission technology that both of these drones use is OcuSync 2.0 so we'll have 8 kilometers of maximum flight distance and now we're able to have 1080p live feed on our phone so everything that we are seeing will be in full HD and the cached files that are saved on our phones are also going to be 1080p so if you want to share them now it will be much better because uh, until now the quality was 720p uh, and now we'll have an improvement in the quality. If you want to share a clip directly from your phone, you will be able to do so. So that's something that I like. The flight time is also seeing an improvement. It's a 31 minute flight time, just like I said in my previous video when we were discussing the rumors about these drones, it's become true. Uh, 31 minutes of flight time, so more flight time is always welcome uh, here. Uh, and the maximum flight speed is 72 kilometers per hour so you already know sport mode is going to be insane and combine that with the longer flight time it's just mwah, perfect we are seeing obstacle avoidance sensors on all of the sides of the drone so we'll be able to use the obstacle avoidance even better now so in all directions except the one from above we'll see obstacle avoidance system and that's great. Uh, one thing that I really like is the fact that we have LED lights on the bottom of the drone so in case you're landing in the dark you will be able to see the drone even better and that's a great small touch. Oh one more thing, low noise propellers are added on both of these drones so now we have it as a standard feature and I'm so so happy if you guys know me you already know I hate the noise of my Mavic Air and even the Spark so I'm quite quite happy to see this improvement and I will be flying happily uh, with my Mavic Pro 2. Now let's talk about the main thing that separates these drones which is the camera. The Mavic Pro 2 has a Hasselblad camera which is completely nuts to have such a nice uh, manufacturer being able to cooperate with DJI and work together and make this amazing camera and a one inch CMOS sensor which has an active sensing area four times more effective than the original Mavic Pro and this allows us to capture more information in every pixel for better dynamic range, signal to noise ratio and low light performance. On top of that we get the 10-bit D-Lock M color profile which yields higher dynamic range for more flexibility in post and we have the adjustable aperture between f2.8 and f11. This gives you more flexibility for different light conditions and you can adjust that depending on those conditions. When it comes to the zoom we have a 24 to 48 millimeter optical zoom camera which 
is a 1 over 2.3 inch 12 megapixel sensor with up to 4 times zoom including a 2 times optical zoom. When using the 48mm telephoto lens, you will be able to compress the perspective and enhance the parallax effect for more classical cinematic look. On top of that, the 4 times lossless zoom allows you to capture objects from a far away distance, so in case you're shooting animals or different objects that could be easily scared from the noise of the drone, you will be able to do that with the Mavic 2 zoom. One thing that is unique for the Mavic 2 zoom is the fact that you can use the dolly zoom effect mode uh, on that drone and although this effect could be easily achieved on any drone that can shoot in 4k It's still nice to have an automatic mode which works with a press of a button Another unique feature of the Mavic 2 zoom is the fact that you can shoot a 48 megapixel super resolution photo Which is basically nine different photos stitched together Automatically and you can use that photo straight away from the drone Without any doubt, the feature that I'm most excited about is the hyperlapse mode. This mode is something that I've been excited for so long, I wanted to try it for so long with my drones. I, I've been trying to get it right, but I just couldn't do it uh, so well. And I've been wanting to do a tutorial on how to do it, but of course I failed and I couldn't do it myself. So now we can do that automatically, the drone will be able to do a hyperlapse from one point to another automatically with just a push of a button you will be able to choose between four different hyperlapse modes and of course you will have all the freedom to do creative stuff with that and explore. You can even store the coordinates of the hyperlapse and you can go back and do them again in different conditions and this is going to be so so good. I cannot wait to do hyperlapses in different conditions and just put them all together and share them with you. That's coming and I'm super, super excited about that, no doubt. We also have Active Track 2.0, so now it's easier than ever to follow different objects and the drone will recognize them without any problem. Of course, just like the regular Mavic Pro, we are seeing our favorite flight modes coming back. So we have Point of Interest 2.0, we have Waypoint 2.0, and we have Quick Shots, Panoramas, and all the things we like about the Mavic are returning back. The last thing which I need to talk about is the price and the shipping time. So the price is the following, 1249 for the Mavic 2 Zoom and 1449 for the Mavic Pro 2. Uh, and I, I'm quite happy with that price. To be honest, I was uh, thinking that they might bump up the prices a bit too much, uh, but still there is a difference between the Mavic series and the Phantom series which I'm happy about. If you want to add the Fly More combo for both of these drones, it's about $300 more, I believe. Uh, and that adds two more batteries, uh, a shoulder bag, car charger, more propellers, and I think that's it. And I personally think it's worth it because the flight time is amazing, but more batteries are always welcome. And with the car charger, you can go anywhere and charge your batteries on the fly. So definitely the fly more combo is the way to go and that's what i bought for myself when it comes to shipping it said on the website two to five business days so hopefully next week or uh, the week after at the latest i will hope i will have the drone in my hands unfortunately i'm not one of those people that have the drone before the announcement and i i just have to buy it myself i need to wait for it like the regular people do and of course I am super excited to get it in my hands and start making videos about it uh, and of course share them with you. That being said I am going to link those two drones uh, in the description below. Please use my link if you want to buy any of them because that helps me out. It gives me a small commission and allows me to continue buying new drones and review them for you and share uh, useful information about them. So. It's very much appreciated if you follow that link and buy from it. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching my quick recap video. Hopefully you guys like it. I know it's not a hands-on video, but trust me, it's coming. Thank you once again for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my future videos, which are going to be completely insane. So please subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Ciao.